Welcome to Hardcore Garage. It's a fabulous Monday. Not too hot just yet, but I'm sure it's going to be a scorcher today. Let's talk about my 90S10. I have given it to my father. It originally came from my father from Florida is how I ended up with it. And he got the S10 bug again not too long ago and has been trying to find him an S10 and just can't. This one's been sitting in the garage doing nothing. So I just said, Dad, why don't you just take this one again, you know? Do what you want to it. I'm going to get it back in the end anyway. So let's take a look at this. This is a 1990 Chevy S10. Yes, it does have the uh, aftermarket S15 grill. Put that on there just to give it a little bit different look. There's not a whole lot done to this truck. Um, it's lowered spindles, leafs, coils, and blocks. I want to say it has four or five inches of block plus a three inch leaf in the rear. It's got a visor on it. A lot of people don't like visors. I've always been a big fan. The first truck that got me into mini truck and my cousin's Toyota had a, a visor on it and I've just always loved them. It's a good looking truck. Not a whole lot uh, of damage being a Florida truck. There is, I do have all the emblems that are off of it right now. It has some dings and dents here and there, but really hardly any rust on this thing at all. The door still open and close. Super easy on it. I am gonna let him run the breezer for a while. Uh, might as well, I'm not. The interior is a little beat, but you can see here's the door. The door still shut super easy on this thing for, for what it is. The AC doesn't work, so uh, he's gonna use the breezer for a minute. Both doors. Like I said, they open super easy. I threw the bench seat back in there. I do have another bench seat waiting for me in New York that I won't be able to pick up until I go to Carlisle for this truck. It is a split bench. Put a factory wheel back in it. It does have Sonoma GT carpet and <laughs> rear wall carpet and a little trim piece out of there. It was just some stuff I had left over. The dash on this thing is hit. 165,000 miles. Does have AC. Does not work currently, but it will eventually i've pretty much yanked the radio out of it this thing has a problem with the starter also has for years and years and i just never felt like screwing with it so you see my little trigger there that's how you start it there's a little combination you got to use it is a five speed this is the 2.5 iron duke nothing power inside it did have cruise control on it originally although i haven't quite figured out what is or wasn't wrong Sorry about that. But uh, the cruise module was right there. I believe those are the cruise wires. I have not found the uh, vacuum that would control it, nor do either one of the steering columns that have been on here have cruise control switches on them. So kind of confusing, but we'll figure it all out. The engine uh, needs a little bit of work. It's got a new interstate battery, green top. That's how we roll. I'm sure he'll get everything done. I know we need to switch out the wiper motor also. The wipers do not work. Not because it's unplugged, guys. I did that, checking the other motor. But yeah, for an Iron Duke, it's nice and clean for 160,000 miles or whatever. Still runs really good. Clutch is a bit soft on it. I think it's been that way ever since I've owned it. It's been a good little truck. Hopefully it uh, gives him the little fix that he needs for his S10 addictions. And uh, we'll see it rolling again sometime. I'll do some updates as he changes little things here and there. But y'all have a great day. Enjoy this week. It's going to be beautiful.